is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 2021. Valentine's Day, a day on which more than a billion letters of affection, Valentine's, are sent out and 60 million pounds of chocolate are purchased. An early Valentine's Day poem appeared in a book in 1784 that went, The roses red, the violets blue, the honey sweet, and so are you. Thou art my love, and I am thine. I drew thee to my valentine. The lot was cast, and then I drew, and fortune said, It should be you. It's the birthday of Carl Bernstein, born in Washington, 1944, one half of the team of Bernstein and Woodward, Woodward and Bernstein, who uncovered the Watergate story for the Washington Post and wrote a book about it called The President's Men. Carl Bernstein has written other books since. Carl Bernstein, who wrote in The New Republic for Next to Race, the story of the contemporary American media is the great uncovered story in America today. The reality is that the media are probably the most powerful of all our institutions today, and they are squandering their power and ignoring their obligation. They, or more precisely we, have abdicated our responsibility, and the consequence of our abdication is the spectacle and the triumph of the idiot culture. And it was on this day in 1895 that Oscar Wilde's play The Importance of Being Earnest opened in London. He wrote the first draft in just 21 days, the story of a man, Jack Worthing, who pretends to have a younger brother named Ernest, and he uses this imaginary brother as an excuse for getting out of all kinds of obligations, even pretends to be Ernest sometimes. At the same time, Jack Jack's friend Algernon Moncrief also begins impersonating the imaginary Ernest. And when two women fall in love with Jack and Algernon, they both think they're in love with a man named Ernest. It comes out in the end that the two of them are themselves actually long-lost brothers. Wilde said the play expressed his philosophy that we should treat all the trivial things of life very seriously and all the serious things of life with sincere and studied triviality. He went to a rehearsal for the play, and after watching the actors for a while, he said, it's quite a good play. I remember I wrote one very like it myself, but it was even more brilliant than this. Here's a poem for today, a sonnet by William Shakespeare, his sonnet 116, Let Me Not to the Marriage of True Minds. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh, no. It is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error, and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. William Shakespeare's sonnet number 116, Let Me Not to the Marriage of True Minds. That's the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, February the 14th, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.